Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Hysteria shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser. I will have links in the description if you need them, but all you need to do here is simply go to your search bar and search up Modrinth, like so. Once you've done this, you should see a website called modrinth.com. Simply click on Modrinth, and then you'll be sent to the homepage for Modrinth. Now, all you need to do is simply go to Discover Content on the top of the website, and go down to Shaders. Now, you need to go to the search box on this tab and search up Hesteria, and you'll see Hesteria Shaders show up right here. All you need to do is simply click on the name and then it's going to send you on the page for Hysteria Shaders on Modrinth. Now, all you need to do here is simply go to Versions and select the latest one. Unlike mods, shaders can work on newer versions than what they support or also older versions. So, for example, here we have 1.1.3 and if you want to download for the latest version of Minecraft, which is 1.1.4, you will still be able to do this. So I'm going to show you how to download for 1.2.4 even though it only shows 1.2.3. Simply click the latest one for most of these shaders. It's like that. And now it's finished downloading. Here we can see we have Hysteria shaders onto our downloads folder. And now we need to have a platform which can run shaders. Here it says we can use Iris or Optifine. I'm just going to use Iris for this tutorial. All we need to do here is simply go to a new tab and search up a website called Iris Shaders. Once you've done this, you should see irisshaders.dev. Simply click on Iris Shaders, and now you'll be on the home page on Iris Shaders. All you need to do here is simply click the blue download button and click Download Universal Jar. And now we have Iris Shaders and Hysteria Shaders. So. There's one last step that you might not need to take. It is simply going to a new tab and quickly doing JDK23. Now this is not the most important thing here, it's just because you might need to have Java installed. So I'm going to have this website here in the description. You will just have to go in this website, go and select JDK23 and click Windows and click the XC before installer. Now this is not for everyone because you might already have Java for most of you, but if you cannot run the iOS installer, just please be aware that you might need to download this one right here. So anyways, once you have everything sorted out, simply close your web browser. And now we can open up our downloads folder. We can do this by going to our file explorer and then going to your downloads folder. Once you're done, simply click iris installer. And if you have Java installed, you'll have this little window that shows up. Simply select the game version that you want to play. So if you want to take the latest one, you'll just see 1.2.4. If you want to take an older one, just click and this will change. So I'll just take 1.2.1 for this example. And he can choose if you want Iris or Iris with possible mods if you want to add mods on top of this. But we will just use Iris only. So once you've done this, simply click install and close Iris installer. Now you have to go to your Minecraft launcher because you need to run Iris. On top of this, you also need to add Hysteria shaders onto the .minecraft shaders pack folder. So here we can see that we have Iris and Sodium. That means Iris has successfully been installed into our Minecraft folder. And we need to go to our installations on the top of Minecraft here and simply hover over Iris, go to the folder icon, and now find shader packs. Once you did this, simply double click it, go to downloads, Select and copy Hysteria Shaders. Go back to the top left arrow here and click Paste. This top left arrow here just brings you to the purest folder. It's just a shortcut to go a bit faster. Once you have Hysteria Shaders into your .minecraft shader packs folder, you can go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to Play, make sure Iris and Sodium is indeed here. If it is, click Play. Now it's going to download all the required files for Iris and then we will be able to run Hysteria shaders. We might need to activate these shaders or not, it really depends. So 
we will have to go to a world to test out if the shaders are currently active and if they're not active i'm going to show you how to activate shaders once you're here so simply makes it a bit bigger and now we have minecraft version and fabric so all we need to do here is simply go to a single player multiplayer or realm i'll just go to single player it's the same step for everything and once you did this all you need to do here is yes in my case i need to activate shaders and the way you activate shaders it's very easy you just simply go on escape then options then video settings then shader packs find hysteria here select it it will darken click apply and that's it and there you go now we have Hysteria Shaders currently activated for Minecraft. So yeah, that's how we get Hysteria Shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!